So anyway, I'm going down the freeway about 60 miles an hour or so, and I could feel a vibration. It didn't feel super bad, but it was there. I've done this before you have a vibration I'll like go a little faster go a little slower see if it gets worse you know calms down whatever so it's going a little bit faster and I was a little overzealous I stayed in it a little bit longer than perhaps I should have the vibration seemed to be about the same it didn't seem like it was getting worse um, the frequency was increasing but you know the the violence of it didn't really change and then all of a sudden it just boom let go So this transmission that's in this car, I had it in my 69 Roadrunner, you know, thousands of miles on it, you know, not to the point where it's worn out. It's probably got less than 10,000 miles on it, probably less than 5,000 miles on it. Had no issues with it, beat on it hard in that car. So I'm pretty confident the uh, transmission is not the root cause. I put new U-joints in it. I mean, it doesn't mean they, fa they didn't fail. I mean, something could have happened there. But what I think is, I'm thinking the drive shaft was just out of balance and uh, caused that vibration and, you know, dumped the drive shaft. See, when you're sitting on the side of the road, you don't want to hear a bunch of automated bullshit. Just put somebody on the fucking line. I'm on the 15. I am on the north side of Clinton Keith Road, heading southbound. I'm in a 1968 Dodge Charger, blue. Uh, blew up the transmission. I think the drive shaft is separated from the transmission, so it should be able to roll onto the, the truck okay. No, just take me home. Uh, no, that's it, thanks. Okay. You know, when shit like this happens, you're extremely, well, I'm extremely pissed off. And the last thing I want to do is go through three layers of automated phone calls. It's like, just put a human being on the phone, please. This is kind of... Good, a, man? 
Hey, what's up, dude? Sorry, man. <laughs> I'm okay. I just blew up the transmission, so. Okay, you guys want to come and help you out? No, I've already got AAA on it today, okay. so. Right, Appreciate cool. it, dude. No Thank you. Yeah, good Samaritan. Anyway, as I was saying, last thing I want is to talk to a freaking robot. I just want a tow truck on its way. All the carnage is right around the tail shaft and the yoke and the drive shaft and everything. So it's something in there that let go. I think the whole front half of the transmission is still in there. The hole that got ripped into the floor of the car is in the trans tunnel kind of next to the seat, not up in the floorboard area. Did crush the exhaust on the passenger side, but I still can't get up underneath the car. I don't know how much of the transmission's left. I don't know if the output shaft is still there. I would think it is, but maybe it broke. You know, maybe tore it off. I looked at the footage I had from the uh, Insta360, happened to have it on the car, and I could see pipe pieces coming out the back of the car. Saw the tail shaft. Like I said, I picked that up yesterday off the freeway. Couldn't find the yoke, um, so it's probably still out there on the freeway or side of the freeway somewhere. Hopefully nobody ran over it and caused damage to their vehicle, you know? A lot of traffic out here. It's not like I could have ran back and ran through the freeway to get it, so... So anyway, let me get this thing in here and let me get it jacked up and see what I can see.
All right, let's see what the damage looks like. carpet ripped up the carpet that's a big ass hole in the floor I mean I think we're missing some sheet metal here I think there's a piece missing this it's not just folded up I think uh, uh, I don't know. See the floor is buckled really bad right here. It's got pushed that way. It's got tore up, opened up like a like a can of soup. I've got some material here kind of folded up. Shit. There's the the seat bolts okay now for what's left of the transmission uh, so basically the only thing holding up the back of the engine and the what's left of the transmission is the exhaust um, uh, kind of, I guess. There's a little bit of the tail shaft, kind of the midsection. Uh, I can't really see. Put the camera up here. Yeah, it looks like the most of the output shaft is gone. So I lost a lot more of the tranny than I realized. see all the all the damage is basically from the dry shaft I, I just I don't know you know let's start letting go let's look at the dry shaft uh, part of the carpet on there Seems awfully sloppy in the rear end. I mean, I don't know if that caused the vibration. Here's that kind of like built in weight. U joint's still there, didn't break. slop in the rear end? Could that have caused vibration? And ultimately took out the transmission? I crushed the exhaust here too. And you can see, oh, so it ripped a hole, crushed it, it ripped a hole in the exhaust. It's going to be an expensive repair. Yeah, that's probably not going to happen anytime soon. It is what it is. Yeah, I think this carburetor is bigger than the one 
that I put on the duster. So I might take this carburetor, put it on the duster, see how the duster likes it, and then take that to duct tape. And just not worry about this for now, you know? I'm just worry about it when we get back. I'm gonna have to pull the whole interior out of it, drop what's left of the transmission out of it, hold up the motor from the backside, you know, jack under the pan or something. Yeah, and then fix the floor. And then build a new transmission. And then put in another drive shaft, because that one's annihilated. And I don't trust that movement that I'm seeing in the yoke going into the third member. I mean, it's pretty sloppy. So I, I don't know if that's a result of all of this, which I kind of don't think it is. It might be the root cause. Because it, it feels so sloppy that, you know, maybe that caused vibration in the u-joint you know enough enough to take it out maybe the tail shaft cracked or something from the vibration and that's when you know everything got so far out of alignment that's when everything just started ripping the pieces i'm thinking that vibration broke the tail shaft the output shaft probably went out of kilter you know and then that's when things started getting ugly and that's when it just started to tear shit to pieces um and obviously broke the tail, the uh, output shaft off, which, you know, that's a very strong part. That's like the crankshaft of an engine, you know? It takes a lot to break something like that. But, you know, at speed and then out of alignment, obviously everything just pounding on each other, it just took it all out. Um, anyway, that's where the charger story ends for a little while. And then uh, we'll restart the story at some point. So short-lived uh, resurrection, I guess. So one more thing, uh, a lot of you guys reached out and offered up transmissions to get me to duct tape drags. I really appreciate that. Uh, but I, number one, I don't have the time. I've got work and I'm doing like this side hustle for this other company I'm working with and I don't have the time to swap transmissions also you saw how bad the floor was like I'm, I'm not i'm not gonna take this car with a big ass hole in the floor and i don't feel like just road killing it and riveting something to the floor to close the hole so i'm just gonna i'm just gonna slow down you know uh this this kind of hurts this hurts a lot especially for this car because it um you know, it's very special to me and it means a lot to me. So, um, you know, it's been in the family for a very long time. So anyway, I'm just going to take it slow, get the interior out of it. We'll get the floor fixed correctly, you know, take everything apart, get the floor fixed, and then we'll put it all back together. We'll build another transmission for it and, uh, we'll finish going, you know, unfortunately th this really sucks. I mean, cause, um, I was, uh, I was really hoping, I was hoping to get a third member, a sure grip for it, but because I was short on time, um, it's got a 323 open rear end in it, and I decided I'm just going to leave that in the car, uh, because I don't have the time or the money to get a sure grip together for it. I wanted to go with the 355, and, um... Honestly, I, I kind of wish I would have just, uh, I, I was, a, for whatever reason, maybe it was my gut was telling me something, but I was feeling rushed trying to get it ready for duct tape. And uh, I was just going to go ahead and go with those, that rear end or that set of gears. But I really wanted to just like not bother taking the car and just go ahead and go with the duster anyways, and then worry about finishing the car, you know, right. Because despite how the car looks, everything in it is pretty damn fresh. I mean, that transmission probably have less than 5,000 miles on it. Came out of my Roadrunner. It worked great in the car. That 440 I bought from my buddy Robert, ran bitching in his duster. It's been running bitching in this car, you know, for the, for the, uh, I don't know, less than 10 miles or 20 miles or so I have on it. Um, Cooling system is all new, um, you know, brand new suspension, brand new brakes, even though I'm 
not happy with how the brakes are performing at the moment, but everything is new mechanically in the car. Um, except the rear end, you know, everything in the rear end was not new. So I, I don't know, man. I, I don't know. Maybe, maybe that's what started this chain reaction and just that might be what destroyed the tranny. It, 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 it wasn't the transmission. It just doesn't, you know, usually transmission comes apart. It's going to come apart in the middle. Usually it'll crack the bell housing or something, you know, or crack the case in the middle. Uh, and it doesn't, I mean, I, I won't know till I get it out, but it doesn't look like anything happened on the front part of the transmission. So whatever happened was on the, it, it was right there where the yoke was and stuff. Um, or transferring through the drive shaft from the third member, you know. I don't know. So this time we'll go all the way through the back brakes. I'm not committing to freaking shit. I ain't taking this car nowhere. I ain't doing shit. I'm not rushing shit. Um, I'm done with that shit. It's going to be all done. I mean, I'm not saying I won't ever do that. There's hoopties out there. I will do that too. And I don't care, <laughs> you know. But for this car, I'm gonna slow down a little bit and let's get all the way through it. Let's not rush, let's work out the bugs, you know, and uh, let's just get it running tight, you know. My Roadrunner, when I, that car was a freaking, on the outside, it, it was a beater, total ratty muscle car. And, but mechanically that car was tight. It freaking was reliable. Never, once I got it all dialed in and it was going on the street, you know, it, every car you get together, there's things you got to work out. There's going to be bugs you need to fix, you know. But once I did that on the Roadrunner, it was like, I felt comfortable taking it anywhere. I could drive it anywhere and not even sweat it. The only thing I had to worry about was having enough gas to get me there. Um, I want to get this car like that. I want this car to be super reliable mechanically. I don't care how it looks. I like the ratty look, um, you know, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna live with that. I think there's a little over two weeks till duct tape. So, uh, so I got a, the dusters got brake issues too. My buddy Dennis uh, gave me a master cylinder or sold me one. I can't, I can't remember. I haven't paid him yet, <laughs> but he gave me one to try. Um, we'll try that on the car and hopefully we'll square away the brakes on that and then that car is pretty much done I don't have to you know, it's not perfect, but I don't have to worry about anything um, That's where we're at You know, I guess looking at the carnage under there That's a that's a pretty big hole guys and when you think about how close that is to your body you know i mean that was like right next to my right thigh nothing ever touched me but that could have gotten really bad real fast that thing came up through the floor higher through the console and hit me in the leg or something like that i mean that kind of shit could kill you i think uh maybe some lessons here for cars making a little more than stock power i think thinking drive shaft loop that would have kept everything pretty well contained. I don't know, probably still would have torqued the floor, but maybe not that bad. And uh, they can scatter shield for the bell housing. I mean, nothing there went wrong in this scenario, but just seeing the how thin of a layer of sheet metal you have between yourself and all those moving parts, you know, it's kind of scary. I've never had anything happen like that before. Never seen anything like that. Never heard of anything like that. I mean, I've heard of them blowing up in the center, you know, hitting people in the legs and stuff. Heard of people dying. I've never seen it come apart on the tail shaft like that. And then again, usually when the drive shaft goes, it's usually the U-joint that's the weak link. And then it just drops out under the car or... I mean, I guess you could catapult the rear of the car, but you know, none of that happened here. Um, if you guys have seen anything like this before, or if you have your own theories, please put it in the comments. Um, you know, I, I'm just, uh, 
I'm grabbing at straws because I don't really know for sure. I don't know if that rear end being that loose like that would would cause that. I mean, maybe, maybe it would. That's kind of the best theory I have because, like I said, I'm very confident that the transmission was not an issue. The transmission was good transmission, you know, ran good, reliably in my Roadrunner. And I did put new U-joints in the car and you can see that didn't break. Yeah, but I've never I've never seen the back end come apart like that before. If you guys got ideas, um, please let me know in the comments. I'm just curious, you know, when you guys might have seen this before and know exactly what happened or maybe not. Maybe you've got your, uh, you're just speculating as well. I don't know. But, it, you know, the more ideas, the better, you know, I'm open to ideas, thoughts, um, opinions. So, uh. Yeah, just put it in the comments. Let me know. All right.